when souls and observer both are in motion. From the above discussion it follows that 1. When souls is in motion and observer is stationary. Doppler's effect is due to apparent change in the size of the wavelengths of waves. And 2. When souls is at rest and observer is in motion, Doppler effect is due to change in the number of waves crossing the ear of the observer. 1. When both the souls and observer move towards each other. Suppose n dash is the apparent frequency when souls alone is in motion with velocity vs towards the observer, which is stationary. Then we get n dash equals to v by v minus vs into n. Equation 3 where n is the actual frequency and vs is the velocity of sound. Now suppose observer is also moving with velocity v0 towards the source which appears to be emitting waves of frequency n dash. Due to motion n dash to n double dash which according to equation 1 is given by n double dash equals to v plus v naught by v into n. Equation 4. From equation 3 and 4 we get n double dash equals to v plus v naught by v into v by v minus v s into n equals to v plus v naught by v minus Vs into N. Equation 5. Above equation shows that the apparent frequency will be greater than the actual frequency. The observer may move with velocity greater than that of the velocity of sound, but the velocity of sound cannot be greater than velocity of sound. Otherwise, N dash will become negative, which is not possible. When the source moves towards the observer, moves away. In this case, apparent frequency can be obtained by replacing V0 by minus V0 is equation 5. Thus, apparent frequency is given by N double dash equals to V plus into minus V0 by V minus Vs into n, n double dash equals to v minus v naught by v minus vs into n, equation 8. In such a case, n may be greater or less than n, depending upon v naught is less than or greater vs. Further, in such a case, Doppler effect will be observable only if either both V0 and Vs are less than V, are both greater than V. Similarly, expressions for apparent frequency of the sound when both the source and the observer move away from each other or when the source moves away from the observer, but the observer moves towards the source can be obtained by changing signs of V0 or Vs or both in equation 7 and 8. Important points. 1. If the wind is also blowing with velocity omega in the direction of sound, then its velocity is added to the velocity of sound in every equation derived above. For example, Equation 8 under this condition takes the following form n dash equals to n into v plus omega minus v naught by v plus omega minus vs. 2. 
If source and observer both are stationary, is Vs equals to zero, V naught equals to zero. Then, according to equation 8n dash equals to n. Similarly, if source and observer both are moving in the same direction with the same velocity, that is, Vs equals to V naught, then also n dash equals to n. Thus it is clear that if there is no relative motion between the source and observer, then there is no Doppler's effect.